right, so I purchased my first Raspberry Pi. I got it up and running, and I went on the web to look for a good beginner project for someone who's really a beginner, someone who's really new at this, has no experience working with these sort of things. And I found it was actually pretty hard to find a good project for a beginner like me. I found that a lot of projects that you'll find online, even if they're called beginner projects, make some assumptions around the experience you already have, or the materials you might have at your house. So I found a really good one that doesn't require a lot of extra materials. Uh, it doesn't make any assumptions around what you already know. It walks you through the project line by line, and it's a pretty fun output. So the project I found that I thought was really good was turning your Raspberry Pi into an FM transmitter. So basically turning your Raspberry Pi into a radio station. It's pretty neat. You can take any sort of audio file, put it on the Raspberry Pi, and have it transmitted to a radio. Fun easy. I thought it was a good first step into using the Raspberry Pi. I feel much more comfortable after doing this project and I thought it was really good for a beginner. So I wanted to share it with you guys and I'll walk through it with you here. Materials you're going to need for this project. Outside of the Raspberry Pi, you're going to need a radio and a piece of aluminum foil. That's it. Uh, you're going to need the radio to pick up the FM signal and I'll note you can't use an app on your phone. I made that mistake was pulling out my hair trying to figure out why it wasn't working. You need an actual radio with an antenna. So that, again, that can either be a handheld one or the one in your car. Maybe you have a radio clock on your bedside table, some sort of radio to pick up this signal and then something to act as an antenna on the Raspberry Pi to transmit it. That's it. So let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the GitHub that we're gonna be using for this project. Uh, I'll add a link to the description so everybody has it but it is the Pi FM RDS GitHub. So let's walk through it. So it starts with a couple commands that you need to run to uh, download this software. So I'll copy and paste this into the terminal. You'll see that it already exists on my Raspberry Pi. That's because I've already completed this project, but that's okay. We'll just jump to the next step. Which is copy and pasting this line. So changing which directory we're in, and then the make clean command. And then make is the final line here. So we'll let this run. Everything looks good. Great. And now it's downloaded. And now you have everything you need to transmit an FM signal from your Raspberry Pi. Uh, if I'll scroll down here, it gives us a uh, sample to run. And this allows us to test that it's working. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now just because the station that it defaults to is 107.9 and that's a pretty popular station where I am. It's got a strong signal and so it actually doesn't come through great but I'm going to jump to an example of how I can now use it myself. Now before you transmit your FM signal you'll need to add an antenna to the Raspberry Pi. Um, this is key for getting the signal to transmit to your radio. Now, you can't just add the antenna to any old pin. There's actually a specific pin you need to add it to for the signal to transmit, and that is pin number seven. So the pins go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the fourth pin down, you add the antenna to, and then you can transmit the FM signal from there. So here's an example of how you can change the radio station that the Pi is transmitting to, as well as the audio file that's being used. So um, you'll run this sudo command, and then you really just need to add a, a value for this frequency and audio field. So I've already added a file to my Raspberry Pi called Smooth Guitar. It's just a generic guitar song, uh, just so I don't hit any copyright infringements on this video. And I've added it to this file. It's a dot .wav file. So now I can play that song at a frequency that's less popular in my area. So 90.1 is a lot of static for me, which is good, which means that I can easily pick it up from the Raspberry Pi. And we'll show you what it sounds like.
So there you have it. So that is how you can turn your Raspberry Pi into an FM transmitter. One thing I'll point out is you'll want to know how to terminate or end this command. Uh, the song will just run repeatedly unless you stop it. So uh, hit Control Z to terminate the command and stop the song. That's something I didn't know and had to go searching the internet for ways to get the song to stop playing. Otherwise, what I would suggest is going online, finding some fun MP3s or some fun songs that you wanna transmit. All you have to do is convert them to WAV files, which there are free options for that all over the internet, um, and then download them, put them in the uh, SRC folder that you've created under the PiFM RDS. Uh, directory. Um, add those files that you want to play over the radio. Find a station that doesn't have a super strong signal in your area. That's why I picked 90.1. Uh, there's just not a lot of other signal coming into that, so I, my Pi was able to transmit clearly. Otherwise, I hope you have fun with this one. It's a great way to get familiar interacting with GitHub, uh, downloading a new program, interacting with the terminal, and just seeing how it all works together. Thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully it was informative. Leave a comment if you have any questions or if anything's unclear, or if you have a great beginner's project that you want to share, definitely add a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'm still very new, so I'm just figuring this stuff out on the fly, but hopefully other beginners out there found this helpful, and I'll continue to share more as I learn more.